Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and getting the cellular communicator, the 2GIG LTE A-A -A or the LTE-V, whichever one it is that you're working with, uh, Verizon or AT&T, this is the same installation video form no matter what. So what we're going to do first getting this going is we're going to go ahead and pop the cover on the device, get that out of the way here, and we're also going to need to undo our two screws here like so. So they're, they're spring loaded, so you back them out. By the way, you need to make sure that your system is powered down when you're doing this. Mine is powered down, but in order to do that, you need to make sure backup battery and power supplies are disconnected. You should have a blank screen, there should be nothing. We're gonna go ahead and open it like this after we've backed those two screws out, and then we'll get it cracked open here. Once it's open, then we should be able to go ahead and get the cell communicator installed. So when you look inside of here, you'll see a few different things going on here. See a, a lot of different slots, you see my wiring, everything's in here the way it should be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our cellular communicator. This is the actual cell device itself. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get, a, get connected to this little pin connection down here. So what you do is you just slide it right on top, make sure that it's lining up with the pins, and then just push down. It clicks right in place. Now at that point, you're gonna grab your bag that has the screws in them, and you're gonna tighten it down. It comes with little wire nut or uh, screw uh, nuts as well to make the, the connection tighter. I'm not gonna use those just for time here, but what you would do is you just take your screws, you get it tightened in place here. Okay, once that's tightened down, you move on to the next one. Small, sorry about that. Okay, get it in there, tighten it down. Once that's tightened down, you're also gonna notice that this device has come with two separate antennas. You are gonna need to connect both of these antennas. Typically what I would recommend is that you just feed them out of the back plate here, like so, and then you can just get them connected straight away inside. So, the connections for the antennas go right here. So you'd go one here, push it down and get it clicked in place. And then do the same thing with the other one. Okay, once those are clicked in place, then you're, what you're gonna do is go ahead and get it secured back to the back plate, like so. Get your screws tightened down. Okay, once you've got these screws tightened down and in place, you're gonna go ahead and put your front plate back on. And that just snaps on like so. And then boom, so we're looking good here. We have our cellular communicator installed. We backfed our antennas. This thing at this point is ready to go ahead and get connected and activated. You just give us a call. You would need to go ahead and get your IMEI number, which is located on the side right here. So just write that down. And uh, once you have that number, give us a call and we'll be able to get this activated and uh, put to monitor. If you guys have any questions or have any uh, suggestions, anything at all, please leave the message below. You guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.